Hi students, welcome to the online classes. In this session, we discuss about the one new topic. The topic name is in statistics. This year topic date is is eight months according to the public examination. How this eight months are given in this exam? Some questions are given the off mark questions. That is two questions are given. So to ask one mark. Next one mark questions are given only one. That's one into one one mark. Next two marks are given one question so two marks. Four marks are given only one question that's the four marks. So four plus two six six plus one seven seven plus one eight eight marks. Okay. The statistics was developed by Sir Ronald Fisher. Sir Ronald A. Fisher. Fisher. Okay. 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 Sir Ronald A. Fisher. Sir Ronald A. Fisher. He was. Father of statistics. Father of statistics. Okay, guys. So the statistics was developed by Sir Ronald Fisher. That's what that's called father of statistics. Sir Ronald Fisher. You know that P. C. Mahara. Novis, P. C. Mahanovis. He was Indian. He was Indian. He was founded to statistics of Institute in Kerala. That's why he was called the father of Indian statistics. So once remember. The father of statistics is Sir Ronald A. Fisher. The father of Indian statistics is P. C. Mahanobisa. P. C. Mahanobisa. Okay, guys. Now, the statistics actually it is an English word. English word. It is derived from Latin. That is a status. Status. Italian. That is a strata. And Greek. That is a statistical. Statistical. So the stat is derived from three languages. Latin is called a stata. Italian is form of the status, and Greek statistics. Statistics. Okay, guys. The totally which is a one of the meaning. That is a political status. That is a political status. How do you define that term? Statistics, the branch of mathematics which deals corrections with corrections, classifications, and interpretation of given data. That is called a Statistics, the branch of mathematics which deals which deals collection collection classification. And uh, interpretation 
of a data is called statistic. Yes, how to define the statistics? Just the simple is a branch of mathematics which deals the collection and classification interruptions of data is called a statistics. You you take it to one example that is a census. The census how to collect some go one person go to that one family numbers. Let's ask sir, how many numbers of child, how many numbers of aged persons are there, how many numbers of females, how many numbers of the males. Just some classification. That person's uh, together of some data. The data is there as the classification and interpretation that is uh, depends on the uh, statistics. Okay, now data x x data. The data is actually information by which can use it to logical inferences that is called a data. The data again derives the two types. One is a raw data, that's one is the ungrouped data. Ungrouped data. The next one is a grouped data. Grouped data. Okay guys? So the data is again two types. One is the raw data, it's not a any classification, just you are gathering the actual information. That information is written as sum, not only this one, that is called a raw data or ungrouped data. Not any specific classification. But in the group of data, definitely specific classification is there. Let's mention that class intervals in this case. Okay, that is a ungrouped data. Next one. S. Now, discuss about the three methods of in statistics. One is a mean method, next one is a mode method, third one is a median. So, these three methods are discussed about the in statistics, proof data and unproofed data. How many you have learned in the previous classes unproofed data of the mean? Now, first discuss about the term. Once remember that the unproofed data of the mean. So, mean another name, arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean of a raw data and a unproofed data. Guys, arithmetic mean how to define the first in raw data case. You take the some observations like this x1, x2, x3, x4 and so on so xn. These are all the observations. The sum of observations divides the number of observations is called arithmetic mean of data. That's arithmetic of uh, mean of data is represented by x bar. x bar is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 and so on so on xn by sum of observation that's what simply write n. n is sum of so, total number of observations. So, n means total number of observations. In this case, number of observations. Okay, guys. Next, the x bar is equal. This will write the short form, short notation sigma i is equal to 1 to n f x i y n. This is a short notation of the arithmetic mean of raw data or ungrouped data. X bar is equal to sigma i to 1 n x i by n. Okay, guys, I give the one example of this uh, topic. Gita. 
four, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-four, twenty-two, and twenty marks in a test. Her mean marks. Her mean marks. So, in this uh, raw data is there, not particular any classification, not given the any class intervals. It's given the one of the raw data. So, first you write the observations. That's the twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty two, twenty. Yes, given observations. That means given mass. Here the observation is mass twenty three. Twenty-four, twenty-four, twenty-two, and twenty. As you find out the other name, that is represented by x bar. X bar is equal to sum of observation twenty-three plus twenty-four plus twenty-four plus twenty-two plus eight and twenty. So twenty by how many observations are there? Two, one, two, three, four, five. Five observations are there. By X bar is equal to add these all observations. Twenty three plus twenty four, forty seven. So twenty four plus twenty two, forty six plus twenty three, one. So ten eleven, one one three, one one three by five. So how many times is cancel by five? So two five seven ten. So one three. Two times again ten, so remain three point zero six times six five seven thirty. So this is thirty cancel twenty two point six. This is a other we know gives mass. Okay guys, so next one direct method of the other method mean for ungrouped data. Okay, guys. Right. Arithmetic mean of ungrouped data using by direct method. Direct method. Guys. This direct method also in proof data is there. That one formula, this one formula is same, but a small difference is there. Here not given the classification of the classes, only given the directly some observations and to respectively frequencies. But if you given the class intervals, that situation you find out that uh, direct method. Next class, I will explain that one. First, discuss about this direct method. Some observations are there. There are observations like that: x1, x2, x3, x4, and so on, so on, xn. So these are the observations. With the respectively frequencies f1, f2, f3, f4, and so on, so on, xn. That means. X1 occurs for your four times, your four times. Like this, your two occurs for your two times. S3 occur occur for your three times. So so X sent occur for your ten. How do you find out the direct of method in this situation? Unroof data situation. X bar is equal. Simply these two are the product. These two are the product. By this sum of this one. So that's what I write here. F1 x1 plus F2 x2 plus F3 x3 plus so on so on. F1 x1 by F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus so on so on. 
Fn. This one right simply forms sigma Fi xi by n sum of the frequencies. Here again, sir, sigma Fi. Sigma Fi, you take it better, there is no problem. Okay, guys, x bar, it is a direct method in unproofed data. I give one example of this uh, topic. Please see. The mass obtained by the students mass obtained excellent and number of friends F 10, 1, 20, 1, 36, 3, 40, 4, 50, 3, and 56, 2, 60, 4, 70, 70, Four and seventy-two, one eighty, one eighty-eight, two ninety-two, three ninety-five, one. Friends, this sum is given in this examination. Find the mean. The mass of 10 by students. Just here, the mass of given 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, 60, 70, 72, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, now you find out that the main. Now you find out that the main. Now you find out that main. So that you are here after the third direct method. You are after the third direct method. Direct method. So you know direct method formula. X bar is equal to sigma Fi Xi by sigma Fi. This one given the Xi, here given the Fi. Simply, this two are the multiplication. 10 into 1, 10. 20 into 1, 20. 36 into 3, 96. 40 into 4, 160. So, 50 into 3, 150. Plus 2 into 56, 12, 1, 1. Plus 4 into 60 into 4, 240. Plus, next, 70 into 4, 280. Plus 1 into 72, 72. Plus 1 into 80, 80. Plus 2 into 80, 82, 88, 176. Plus 92 into 3, 6, 276. Plus 1 into 99, 91. So, why? 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 
3 plus 1. Check it. How many guys are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. These are the added. These are the added. 10 plus 20, 30. 30 plus 96. 10, 20, 96, 160, 150, 112, 240, 280, 72. 80, 176, 276, 95. These are the added. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 6, 16. 16 plus 6, 22. 22 plus 5. So that is a 22 plus 5. Once again, 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 6, 16. 16 plus 6, 22. 22 plus 5, 27. 7, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 9. 5 plus 9, 14. 14, 20. 25. 26. 30, 38, 38 plus 7. This all are added, you get that 1797. Simply like this. So that's one 1797. But these are the added. 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 2, 14, 14 plus 4. 18, 18 plus 4, 22, 22, 23, 24, 26, 29, 30. Right? So, how many times is cancelled? This one I write here, one slide here. 1797 by 3 into 10. How many times this is cancelled? 3797. 5 times 5, 3 is 15, 2, 9, 9 times 27, 2, 7, 7 times 9 times again, 27 is cancelled. This is cancelled 599. 599 by 10. So this uh, 1, 0 is the number. So 59.9. Okay, guys? Do you understand? So it is a direct control. I'm going to write down. Next one. Okay. Very, very important. Discuss about the ultimate mean of mean of group table. Group table. The previous class discuss about the class intervals and the class norms. Class norms. Okay. So one more question. How do we define that class interval? The difference between lower and the upper limits or boundaries of the class is called a class interval. Once again, the difference between lower and the upper limit or boundaries of the class is called a class interval. So, suppose I take it that one example 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Yes, the difference between that is lower limit or upper, lower limits and the upper limits. And lower boundaries and upper boundaries of the class, it is called a class intervals. The class intervals are another name, size of class, size of class. And another name, height of the class, height of the class. Yes, height of the class is the same. H is a short notation CI. 
Okay, guys. This again divides the two types of the class. One is a inclusive classes, another one is a exclusive classes. I write that one table on the blackboard. You are first observe the table. So I write the class intervals. What type of the class intervals are in inclusive classes? Inclusive classes. Let's one limit. Let's divide the lower limit and the upper limit. Next one, boundaries. Let's one upper boundary and lower boundary. Lower boundary. Zero to ten. One to ten, eleven to thirty, twenty to thirty. One eleven twenty, ten twenty thirty, and uh, one zero point five, ten point five, ten point five, twenty point five, twenty point five, thirty point five. And write the class intervals. This is exclusive classes. Exclusive classes limits. That's the again two types of the limits. Boundaries. This is the lower limit, upper limit, lower boundary, upper boundary. This one class zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty. Yes, zero, ten, twenty, ten, twenty, thirty, zero, ten, twenty, ten, twenty, thirty. Okay, guys, please observe this one. The class interval definition already I have completed. In the class interval, say again the two types. One is the inclusive classes, another one exclusive classes. See, one to ten. 11 to 20, 20 to 30, and so on, so on, are called an inclusive classes. Why? Because to find out that any class limits and any class interval limits under upper limit and lower limit is there belongs to that particular that class. Okay? You find out any class of upper limit and lower limit. That two are is belongs to the particular class. That type of class is called a inclusive classes. In this case, zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty. It's a are called these type of classes are called a exclusive classes. Why? Because you are selected any class interval. You find out that the limits that only lower limit. Exist of in that particular class. Otherwise, it's not exist of the upper limit. That's why the type of classes are called exclusive classes. Now, here inclusive classes are in the limits. L means lower limit. U L means upper limit. So, in the class interval, left hand side all are called a lower limits. One, eleven, twenty. Upper limits are ten, twenty, thirty. Next, uh, in the exclusive classes, again I write the limits. L means lower limit, L U L means upper limit. In the class interval, left hand side values are there. Lower limits zero, ten, twenty. And the upper limit you write the ten, twenty, thirty. Okay, it's no. Next one, okay. You select any one limits, upper limit and the lower limit of the class. Suppose I selected this class eleven to twenty. In the eleven to twenty, what is the lower limit? Eleven. That eleven is belongs to the same class interval. And upper limit twenty. The twenty is also same class. So that type of class is called inclusive class.
It's not a continuous classes. It is a called a continuous process. Next, you find out the boundaries. How do you find out the boundaries? Just you are average of average of upper limits and lower limit. That means, please see upper limit of the previous class and the lower limit of the last class. That's average. You will get that uh, lower point. So 10 by 10 plus 11, 10 plus 11. In this class intervals, in this 1 to 10, what is the upper limit? 10. And the what? Next class, what is the lower limit? 11. Average of this one, upper limit and lower limit of these two classes. So by 2. So 10 plus 11, 21 by 2. That is the 10.5. The 10.5 is belongs to the upper boundary of first class interval the same boundary is belongs to the lower boundary of next class interval ok guys so that means you check it here the 10 here get the 10.5 10.5 is belongs to upper boundary of the first class the same 10.5 is belongs to lower boundary of next class Okay guys, so 20, 20, this are here, 20 here, sorry, this one is 21, 20 plus 21, 20 plus 21 by 2, 41 by 2, that is equal to 20.5. This class intervals is belongs, upper boundary is belongs to that, level 11 to 20 class interval. That's the same 20.5, 20.5, that is lower limit is belongs to that, 21 to 30. Class and come this one. Same as the upper level. We have the first class from 0 to 10. What is the upper limit? 10. 10 to 20. Next class, what is the lower limit? 10. Average 10 plus 10 by 2. So 20 by 2, we can get 10. That is upper boundary of the first class. That is the lower boundary of the last class. Like this, they mind 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Okay, guys, next one, class marks. Next one, class marks. Class marks. S simply represent XI. XI. Class mark and another name is there that is a mid point, mid values. Mid values. How do measurements of the class mass? Average of upper boundaries and lower boundaries. So UB plus LB by 2. UB plus LB by 2. Here class across is there 10 to 20. What is the upper boundary and lower boundary of the upper limits or lower limits of that? 10, 20. So 10 plus 20 by 2, that is a 30 by 2, we get that 15. 15 is a class mass of 10 to 20 class interval. It is a cent central mass of that class interval. The total frequency is a focus of this interval. Okay, right. Next one. In this session, discuss the grouped data and ungrouped data of the main, alternate main. Ungrouped group data, alternate main of grouped data. Actually, it is three methods. One is a direct method, another one is a step deviation method, so the second one is a deviation method or assumed mean method, assumed mean, the third one is a step deviation method, step deviation method. Next session, discuss about the term, other mean of group data, this three one. Okay, guys.
Lucas 